In this video, we will see how Turing machines can be used as language acceptors. So in the last video, we have seen definition of Turing machine and the basic concept of Turing machine. Now let us see how Turing machine can be used as language acceptors. So we can use Turing machine uh, to accept certain language. Uh, that language can be now any language for that matter because we are constructing Turing machine as generic machines and uh, we will see examples of few regular language, context free language for which we can now construct Turing machine. Okay, before we do that, uh, in yesterday's talk we have discussed about uh, the Turing machine's 5 tuple. That Turing machine is a 5 tuple capital Q alphabet to Q0 and delta where capital Q is a finite set of states uh, not to contain H and HR. Alphabet and to are the input and tape alphabets. Q0 is initial state and delta is our transition function. Right now, uh, whenever we solve a string for its acceptance, we require an ID notation. Right. So, how we will have ID notation in case of Turing machine? So, uh, the ID notation of Turing machine is also written uh, with the help of state. First, we will be having a state, and then we'll be having a configuration in the form of say x a y. What is this x a y? And uh, there will be one underline uh, uh, representing the tape head. So this A uh, is indicating right now in this example a symbol on which currently my tape head is standing. And that we represent with help of an underline and, uh, below that A. Okay. So A will be a symbol from my tape. So A will be a symbol from my tape or it can be blank also. Or it can be blank also. Whereas what are X and Y? x and y are now strings because x can have some number of symbols from tape and y can have some number of symbols from tape so these are basically strings over tape symbols and blank okay so this is how a id notation representation is shown in case of a turing machine this is how a id notation representation is shown in case of a turing machine where q represent a state where q represents a state and x a y uh, in which x and y are strings based on the tape alphabets and a is a single symbol on the tape alphabet and underscore is or underline here is representing me that tape head is currently pointing to the symbol a okay now using this uh, let us first write the definition for turing machine as language acceptors how we can use uh, acceptance definition in case of Turing machine okay so let us assume that um, uh, we have a Turing machine T uh, which is a 5 tuple capital Q alphabet to Q0 and Delta suppose it is a Turing machine suppose it is a Turing machine and consider that we have a string based on our alphabet star this x is said to be accepted by Turing machine T if if starting in the initial configuration if starting in the initial configuration corresponding to x corresponding to x the machine T the machine T eventually reaches the accepting configuration reaches the accepting configuration now what do I mean by this so initially I start with the configuration with my string which I have to check on my ID notation and eventually if I, if I enter into the accepting configuration what will be accepting con uh, configuration it would be uh, a situation in which we end up into HA state because HA is our accepting state right so you can also say that in other words you can also say that in other words S is X X is accepted X is accepted if if if, if I start from Q0 and if I place X on my if I place X on my tape and before I process my tape head will be present on the blank so first i'll be having a blank symbol and after that i'll be having the string which i have to check for my acceptance and my tape head will be pointing to the blank after applying some set of transitions if i enter into accepting state 
if I enter into accepting state with my tape head pointing to some symbol A and there are some strings Y and Z on my tape, I will say that my given string H is accepted. Now here it is not told that X has to be processed completely, very important. It is never told that X has to be processed completely. We can enter into the accepting state HA even before processing the X completely. For example, suppose I tell you that uh, I want to draw a Turing machine for uh, language starting with 1 0. So if I process the first two symbols in and if the first two symbols are 1 0, I am not interested in processing what is there after that in case of Turing machine. Okay, So we can eliminate that processing. So in that case my entire x that is the given input string will not be checked. Correct. So if I am drawing a Turing machine for say a, a starting with 1 0. So I can have long strings right. But if I process first two symbols 1 0 that moment itself I can enter my Turing machine into accepting states. It is not required that I process next part of my input string. Are you getting this right? So Turing machine gives these kind of facilities where your entire string is not required to be processed. We are going to see certain examples so that you will understand uh, what do I mean by that entire x has not to be processed. So if you enter into accepting state and no matter what is there on your tape you are pointing to some symbol which is a. A is a symbol now right. So what this indicates uh, this also indicates that if there exist if there exist y and z what are your y and z these are as i stated these are the strings over tape symbols and what is a a is single symbol from my tape correct a is single symbol from my tape okay so that this configuration is hold true then in that case we say that the string x is accepted we say that the string x is accepted. In the next video, we will see one example how to construct a Turing machine for one example and we will solve ID notation for that with help of this particular formula. Okay, So that you will understand meaning of this notation clearly.